What an exciting final day at the PGA Championship. Jason Day finished at a record 20 under par to edge out Jordan Spieth to capture his first major title and win the 97th PGA Championship. We're joined now by CBSSports.com golf writer Kyle Porter. Kyle, I understand uh, not only did he finish at 20 under, he did something that no other player has ever done and hit 21 under par in a major. Unbelievable. Yeah, it, it was. It really was unbelievable. Tiger Woods uh, finished the 2000 British Open at 19 under par. 19 under par was the record for for a major championship uh, in, in terms of scoring. And uh, Day bested that today. Finished at 20 under by shooting uh, at 67 in the final round and, and held off uh, the new number one player in the world, Jordan Spieth. He finished uh, second, and and with that overtakes Rory McIlroy as the number one ranked player in the world. Well, in fact, Rory McIlroy just tweeted out that two inevitable things happened, that Jason Day captured his first major title and that uh, Jordan Spieth became the number one player in the world, which was really generous of Rory McIlroy to point out because he's the person who gets replaced at the number one spot. What was it about whistling straights there on Lake Michigan in Wisconsin that allowed that kind of a score ending the day? Well, it, it was really his uh, Jason Day's driving, honestly. He averaged, I, I think, about 312 yards off the tee uh, on, on Sunday. And, and I mean, he, I, I walked with his group for all 18 holes, and he had a he had a 380 yard drive on a par five, the 11th hole, and, and ended up making a really easy birdie. When you're driving it like that, as straight as he was, uh, you're going to score, and, and he did, and, and was able to, uh, like you said, capture his first major. Yeah, I think on that hole, that was the hole where he was at par five. He's on the green in two. Unbelievable. Yeah, it really was, and he was doing that all day. He did it again on uh, 16. It was also a really, really long par five. He's putting for eagle, and, and when you have you know, short putts for eagle like that, it, even if you miss them, those tap-in birdies are, are really uh, kind of calming as you're trying to come home and, and secure your first mate. I, I, I want to kind of set the scene here because whistling straights is notoriously difficult. I mean, people who don't play a great game of golf go there and can find themselves just frustrated. There's more than a 1,000 bunkers on this Pete Dye-designed course. And we actually saw Jordan Spieth out there today he needed to come out of a bunker up onto the green, and he couldn't quite figure out whether he should squat down and, and get the ball out. Should he put it? The announcers were saying, oh, maybe he needs to take a knee and try to hit out of this. A difficult, challenging course, and it looks like these guys had the time of their lives out there today. Yeah, it's really incredible, and it's interesting, you know, because a lot of the guys are very, um, you know, they praise this course. Martin Keimer, who won here in 2010, so this is his favorite favorite course in the United States. They they love playing here. The the, the visuals are amazing. Lake Michigan looks like I have never been up here. It looks like the the Caribbean or something. It's really incredible. But yeah, Jordan Spieth, he struggled down the stretch a little bit in terms of. He was in some spots that, that he really had to work to get out of and, and, and post a score. He hit, he hit a ball off some railroad ties on uh, number 11. So he, he, he was a little bit all over the place, but still he shot a 68 and, and finished 17 under for a major. That wins 95% of the time, but it didn't this <laughs> week with Jason Day. And it was kind of sad because he was really looking for another major to, add, to, to have the third major in a calendar year. Um, he was parring it over and over and over again, and then he got to hole number 11, and he birdied every subsequent hole until hole 17. That was just an incredible run. Yeah, it really was. And like you said, he was trying to match Tiger Woods and Ben Hogan as the only golfers to win three majors in a year. He was trying to become the youngest golfer ever to win three career majors. And, you know, he didn't get it done, but he, it was fun to watch him because he was very – um, congr congratulatory to Jason Day. He, he, uh, he gave him a standing ovation at, 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 on the 18th green as he walked off, and it, it was fun to watch. You know, they were chatting as, as they walked up the final few holes. It was fun to watch them compete and then ultimately speak, congratulate him on what was a great win. Uh, again, the big news today out of the PGA, Jason Day has captured his first major title and broken a record. Um, ending on 20 under par. No other golfer has ever done that before. And Jordan Spieth has now replaced Roy McIlroy as the number one golfer in the world. Big news out of the world of golf. Thank you so much, Kyle. Hey, thanks for having me. I appreciate it.